So I was browsing through my bank and doing some progression and shit this week, and, and a thought hit me. Why does the armor grind fucking suck in this game? I hate the fact that all these pips I have to pray and pray that I get a good HP roll or a good fizz roll and if I get DVM or monster armor or ether, the gear's automatically bad. It pisses me off to no end that this game is so reliant on RNG for stuff and half the time you don't even get like good RNG. You have to get the most god roll of god rolls for anything to be considered viable in the current state of this game with everybody's high HP and high resistance builds. I just hate it. Not saying I can't grind, I'm willing to grind for certain things, but I should not have to be grinding for weeks, hell, even a month, just to get that one good roll to really perfect and edge out my build. It's just not fun. So with that in mind, I'm going to offer a solution and we're going to talk today about why I hate Deep Woken's shitty RNG armor system right now. All right, let's get into it. So my first problem with armor is, is not the fact that it's not available to people. There are plenty of ways you can get armor. You find it in damn near every chest. You can find your fucking Iron Sings, Scourge, Hive Cure, you know, all the fucking different armors that you can find in it. They're everywhere. The problem I have is that most of them end up just being note fodder if you sell them anyways, or even pick them up because their stats are just so inherently horrible, except for like the five that can actually roll decent stats if you get lucky, like Diver's Light Plate, Iron Sing Heavy Plate, Delver's Duster. Those can actually be really good, but that's the problem. It should not be this small minority of armor pieces that are inherently like, oh yeah, every player should go and do this. Like, I have the Terraria wiki pulled up right now as I'm doing this, just for everybody that has context. Terraria with just their basic armor already does so much more because they give you a reason to collect them all. They all have set values, and if you get the full set, or even specific parts, they provide a bonus. Like, I'm looking at the mining armor. Get the full thing of mining armor on, you mine faster in Terraria. The helmet, it specifically emits a light, so it's easier to go mining in caves. That's fucking awesome. I love that you're being rewarded for following the set of an armor. And I'm not saying you have to wear that for drip, you know, that's what we have Jarvis and the, the smelter guys for. But armor should have more of a reason to pick them specifically than just putting recycled talents that some people might use or some people might not use on random pieces of armor. Like when's the last time you saw somebody genuinely wear a Hive Scourge Curus for the low stride talent? You probably haven't. And that's the thing, all these, I'm not saying every piece of armor should have a unique thing tied to it, but if you get a set of armor that's in the game, you wear that full set, give it a set bonus. You know, maybe it's like, oh, you get plus rep gain when you're helping this faction, or maybe you get plus 10 health or something like that. That way, not everything's RNG based. And what you should then do is instead of randomly rolling these stats, some of them should just have very base stats that are more hard lines. Like the Knight's Helmet, yeah, that's your high HP helmet, but you get lower resistances with it. Maybe another one's higher resistances. And you can have the stars be kind of an add-on to that, where they give you a little extra bonus in health or stuff. That way there's a little bit of variety, but it's not so heavily dictated by the randomness that is the PIP system to where you just don't, you don't have any choice but to go and try to farm for those three or four specific pieces for hours and hours on end. That's, that's not an enjoyable grind to me. It's just mindless and mind numbing. If I'm going to go get an armor set, I want to feel rewarded and pleased that I got this armor set because now it enables me to do something really cool or something really unique compared to just having one or two pieces of it and I'm missing that final piece. That gives you a new, more fulfilling grind to go for. You're collecting an entire set instead of just hoping you get the right stats. And if you don't, well, tough shit. Keep farming. That's what I hate. And you, you wanna know what would make this even cooler of an addition? You could then put these armors and lock certain ones behind like bosses and stuff. That way people have a reason to go and grind bosses and not everything's just, oh, you want X thing? Well, you can just find it anywhere. Certain pieces of loot are region locked. Like you'll see more maces, iron spears and stuff in Aresia compared to anywhere else. But give the bosses something unique. Like take Duke, for example. His whole unique thing used to be way back in the day that he could drop curved blades because, you know, that made sense. He was using, you know, green ship. Bro, that's Gale, totally. Not really, but 
that was his unique thing. If you wanted to go get a curved instead of maybe hoping you got one in the depths, you could go farm Duke, and that's what made him special. We need more things like that for armor, for weapons, for everything. But in this case, it's just about the armor. Give us a reason to farm for specific sets instead of just praying and hoping that you get the right pips. And, you know, we have the Smith's ally to upgrade weapons. You could then even give people even more of a reason to go farm bosses if you made the equivalent of that, but for armor pieces. So, like, let's say, you know, the Khan helmet. It's gimmick for, for these stats. It always will give you a decent amount of posture. It's the posture helmet. Everybody loves posture, but it doesn't give a lot of, a lot of HP. You know, it gives you a little bit, but the knight helmet is the better one for HP. That way there's trade-offs in this game, something we don't see anymore. But if you go and get, you know, the, the special version that lets you upgrade the pips of the armor, maybe it can then approach being on par. Not being on par, but approach being good enough as the knight's helmet, as a comparable thing if you spend the time to upgrade it. That's a more fulfilling grind to me than just sitting here and farming Lair 2 for an eternity and then after the 50th run I finally get the one good armor piece that I can use on, guess what, one character out of my 15 that I've been building and need quote unquote good god rolls for each one to be viable. The standard in which we do combat now, you should not be forced and backed into a corner for not having good HP and good resistance gear. That should not be what determines if your build is good or not. That doesn't make sense to me. I get stats should help. And that makes sense. The higher stat you are, the more things you can do, the better you can fight. But it should not be the end-all be-all of combat. Like, if I'm doing really good against an opponent, I should not feel like I'm climbing a mountain purely because they have such high stacked resistances and they got lucky with their RNG rolls and I didn't. That just feels like more bullshit than anything else. And then also, if you even if you get a good one, you're like, well, I can't make use of this, you know, anymore. You have to go to the trading market. The trading market for Deepwoken sucks because everybody wants one specific thing and hardly anybody's willing to compromise. That's why I hate trading there. Because it's not fun. I would rather just grind mindlessly and pray I get the good roll instead of going, okay, well, I've got this crit blade here. And man, I hope somebody will give me their god roll helmet for it. If we can just standardize making all of these sets of armors have their unique stats that are kind of tailored to them and all standardized, I think that would go a long way into making sure instead of a mindless, boring grind, we get something that's more interesting and players will actually start to think a bit more about what armor they should wear because they'll provide unique talents, not recycled ones that we've already seen. Give us some unique talents that are unique to that armor and that armor alone. Kind of like how we have that with our actual armor schematics. Some talents on there you can't find anywhere else. Like the talent on the Grand Pathfinder Cloak where like if you parry shit you get ether back. I think that's cool. That's cool as hell. You know, if you want to trade off some resistances and get that, it's really good for you because then you can not have to necessarily worry about tempo because if you're defending against an opponent's attacks, you're getting ether back. Like, that's a unique gimmick for that. Or the Pathfinder Arch Sorcerer. You know, everything has a unique use, but armor really doesn't. It's just another jack-of-all-trades thing that's kind of the same mindset of builds, which I'll get into another time. But yeah, that's my little rant if you got to the end of that. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll leave it at that. I'll see you guys later.